The plant pictured here is Circus canadensis, the eastern redbud. Here you can see the form of this small tree. It gets 20 to 30 feet tall, and it's usually single trunked, although that trunk often does fork, as shown here. Generally, this small tree has a round topped habit. There are many, many cultivars of Circus canadensis available in the landscape industry. So you may find some cultivars with alternative forms, such as this one, which has a weeping architecture. The bark of this tree is not particularly distinctive, and often when you see it, it's much smoother than this. It gets this scaly appearance with age. So at maturity, you have a grayish brown bark with maybe some orangish brown under layers of bark peeping through. The stems and branches of Circus canadensis are what we call flexulous. This word means that they zigzag back and forth, much as you can see on the top stem here. Another trait that helps identify Circus canadensis just from looking at the stem is that it's colliflorous. This means that the flowers come straight off of the main stems and even down on the much older wood and on the trunk itself. The leaves of eastern redbud are heart-shaped. They have a chordate base as shown here and an acute to acuminate leaf apex. In addition, you can tell eastern redbud, Circus canadensis, from other redbuds such as Circus chinensis, the Chinese redbud, which is commonly found in the landscape as well, by counting the veins. Eastern redbud has seven major veins. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. And you can remember that because the word eastern has seven letters in it. So seven major veins on the heart-shaped leaves of eastern redbud. Eastern also having seven letters. In addition, there are other trees with heart-shaped leaves, but one difference that sets Circus canadensis apart is that it has alternate leaf arrangement where some of the other plants with heart-shaped leaves have opposite. So alternate leaf arrangement, seven major veins. If you look at the underside of the leaves of Circus canadensis, you'll see that they're glaucous as shown here. Here you can see the showy flowers of the eastern red bud when they are completely open. So again, they are open before the leaves and they are coliferous, arising all along the stems and trunks, even on very old wood. In addition, we have what are called pea-like flowers. Here you can see the flowers quite close up. For a pea-like flower, you usually have two petals at the bottom that come together and form what's called the keel, almost like a little boat. And then you have two other petals that tend to stick out straight to the sides and one sticking up at the top. Most of the time, red bud flowers are the pinkish purple color that you've seen in all the pictures so far, but there are white flowered cultivars. NC State actually has quite a large red bud breeding program, and so now I'm just going to highlight a couple of the cultivars that NC State has released, starting with Circus canadensis merlot. As you can see, it's a purple-leafed cultivar, but unlike many of the other purple-leafed cultivars of eastern redbud, this one tends to hold its purple leaf color a lot longer into the season. It doesn't fade with the heat because it's a very heat-tolerant tree. It also has a more upright, almost vase-like growth habit than some other redbuds. Here you can see a close-up shot of those purple leaves, which again will maintain their purple color pretty late into the season and it won't dim with the heat as it often does in many purple leafed eastern redbud cultivars. You can see from this picture as well that the leaves are quite glossy. And here are the flowers. So they're an attractive dark rose pink color, perhaps a little bit darker than what you typically would find on eastern redbud. Here's another NC State introduction, a weeping purple leafed cultivar called Ruby Falls and yet another, Whitewater. Whitewater also has a weeping architecture as well as these green and white variegated leaves. One of our newest introductions is the one pictured here, Circus canadensis Carolina Sweetheart. And this one has green and white variegation much like Whitewater, but it is not weeping architecture. And what's really unique is that you'll see when the new foliage comes out, it comes out this almost hot pink color which then fades to somewhat of a purplish pink as the season goes on. 
And finally, Circus canadensis pink pom-poms, a pretty accurate way to describe this one that has double flowers. So the pea-like flower is lost in a profusion of extra petals, and it makes the flowers quite showy. The pedicels of these flowers are also longer than they typically are on Circus canadensis, so the flowers are larger with more petals and they stick out farther from the branch, making them very showy. And that concludes our discussion of Circus canadensis, the eastern redbud.